Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report now for the latest on WrestleMania weekend. John Cena will have uh, his display of muscle cars for fans to see during WrestleMania 27 at Atlanta. Didn't know he had a bunch. Anyway, The Rock, he made a, a special uh, appearance for fans today at uh, WrestleMania at the press conference of the, in New York City. A truck stopped in front of fans that The Rock was right again, I guess. And he leaned out, waved to the fans, and said uh, he was bringing it. And he said he would see him soon and before dri driving off in it. All right, WWE is going to be holding a, uh, an event July 29th, uh, 2011, Civic Center, Peoria, Illinois. Tickets go on sale June 4th. Please make a note of it. Vince McMahon, he did not appear at the WrestleMania 27 press conference in New York City this morning. Something... That's really unusual that he, uh, he didn't take part in it. Anyway, a uh, person uh, called this in, was in attendance, and noted that John Cena was hit with tons of Cena sucks and same old shit chants from uh, the crowd while The Rock received a huge reaction. Snooki asked, uh, was asked to take a photo with uh, both The Rock and Cena, which led to the two facing off together. It was revealed that... Uh, Today's uh, also press conference that uh, in New York City, they were at the Hard Rock Cafe, by the way, uh, that Triple H would be inducting Shawn Michaels into the WWE Hall of Fame in Atlanta. Triple H, she was introduced by Stephanie McMahon. Remember her? I liked her. Anyway, uh, she, uh, the, she's the event presenter, I guess. He kissed her upon entrance and announced that uh, he was going to be inducting his friend Shawn Michaels into the Hall of Fame. Then he vowed to end Undertaker's undefeated uh, WrestleMania streak on Sunday. Michaels said recently in an interview that uh, he narrowed the list down to two candidates to induct him into the Hall of Fame. I know who one is, never heard who the other one was. WWE Hall of Fame induction uh, ceremonies, by the way, airs this Monday prior to Raw on USA Network. That Monday, we're going to have a ton, put your DVRs, VCRs, whatever, on a about four or five hour uh, timer. WrestleMania week, by the way, kicks off uh, today in Atlanta at uh, Turner Fields, uh, hosted by WWE Night. And WWE talent uh, Morrison, Henry, uh, Eve, Molinas take part in autograph sessions uh, prior to the Atlanta Braves spring training game. Morrison was named honorary team, team captain while Henry tossed out the first pitch of the year and the Diva exclaimed play ball to start the game and the season I guess. Uh, the signing by the way drew approximately 100 fans. Everybody else had to work. Kevin Nash announced on his Twitter account that uh, he's going to be on hand for WrestleMania weekend. Uh, well he's going to be at the WrestleMania Access festivities in Atlanta's uh, World Congress Center in Atlanta, Georgia. He is appearing at, uh, looks like Saturday evening from uh, three to five if you're going there. Please make a note of that too. And Sunday, 11 a.m. to noon. And according to F4W Online, Shawn Michaels is scheduled to appear at ringside during The Undertaker and Triple H's match at WrestleMania. Don't know what he's gonna be doing. I bet he's gonna get involved somehow. According to sources within, let's go over to the other channel, huh? Sources uh, within TNA Wrestling, no determination yet is being uh, made regarding if and when Jeff Hardy returns to action. It's reportedly uh, discussed that Hardy would uh, be returning as a babyface, but sources say the subject was never really broached. Uh, Hulk Hogan criticized him in a promo March 17th on Impact and merely just kind of explained his absence from in Immortal. Hardy's statue uh, or status with the company likely won't be discussed until after his uh, April 20th court date in Moore County, uh, North Carolina. And what's actually going to happen with Jeff Hardy's future? It's not TNA, not Dixie. It's that judge. For the week ending March 20th, TNA Impact beat both WWE uh, uh, Monday Night Raw and WWE SmackDown for the third consecutive week. Well, how'd they do that? According to the Broadcasters Audience Research Board, TNA on Challenge TV drew 157,000 viewers down 6,000 from the previous week. Raw on Sky Sports 3 drew 156,000 
viewers, while well, SmackDown on Sky Sports uh, 2 garnered uh, 137,000. All right, former WWE uh, talent De Sean Devare worked last night at uh, Impact, taping in Orlando, beating independent wrestler Ricky Ray's uh, via the Death Valley Driver. He was uh, announced as Sean Devare. Can you imagine that? Over the weekend, Devare denied reports that he'd been re-signed with uh, TNA. Uh, he didn't, however, deny the reports uh, of him working with Impact taping, so he can't deny it. All right, I'm back. Hey, Nash the Guard has been announced as uh, official sponsor of WWE's WrestleMania Access Fan Fest. Uh, WWE's family-friendly interactive uh, fan event that runs through WrestleMania weekend from Thursday, March 31st to Sunday, April 3rd at Georgia World Congress Center. Other promotional partners of WrestleMania Access include Skittles, Twix, Mattel, Slim Jim, THQ, and uh, that's all. Tonight at WrestleMania Art Event, which take place at the Fox Theater in Atlanta, Atlanta Mayor uh, Reed and more, uh, more than uh, 20 WWE superstars and divas will be on hand for the event. WWE stars John Morrison, Mark Henry, Eve Torres, uh, well, I was telling you about that already. Uh, all right, Stan, the man with the uh, timer, stopwatch. On the Go Home uh, episode of Raw, had 17 minutes, 39 seconds of in-ring in action down last week, 19 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> that guy's funny. Anyway, the footage of Snooki, Trish Stratus, Layla, Michelle, Michelle McCool in a bar uh, that aired this past Monday on Raw was not uh, that WWE had originally hoped for. They decided to air the best parts of the footage they had filmed at the bar. The film was uh, delayed after Snooki showed up several hours late for the shoot. Uh, on one, note, uh, one uh, related note, by the way, the man who was sitting on Snooki at, uh, and Trish at the bar, or hitting on him, not sitting on him, uh, is local independent wrestler who always wrestled as the brother of TNA star Robbie E. Don't let you know. Buzz Focus, by the way, .com has published an advanced review of uh, the first episode of WWE Tough Enough, which premieres next Monday night after all. There's more reason to set your VCR. Here's a little bit of the spoilers, by the way, to let you know how things go. The show begins with Steve Austin having the cont contestants uh, set up in an empty arena for a WWE event. The next day, the contestants begin their training with Trish Stratus, Booker T, Bill DeMott, uh, first uh, beef on the show is that I didn't call him beef. Uh, in the in the house happens between uh, oh Miss USA and uh, New Jersey wrestle Michael uh, Zaki. Zaki talks uh, about how women shouldn't be on the show and then catches heat for his sexist comments. Uh, Zaki throws a pillow at uh, Miss USA, which should just knocked her sense senseless, I guess, but didn't. Anyway, she responded by telling him off and stormed out of the room. Zachy appears to be the bad boy of the show. And the article teases that one of the contestants shits in their pants during in-ring training on the episode. All right. I guess that's enough for that. We'll have to just check it out, I guess. Uh, must come on at probably 11.05 or something like that, uh, Eastern Standard, Standard Time after uh, Raw. I don't know how much overla uh, overlaying they're going to be doing uh, at uh, 11 o'clock hour, but they probably will lead us into Tough Enough. Hey, thank you guys for clicking. I got to go.